Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In the last video, we have done with the read operation. But as I told you, we have two kind of read operation for this project. So we have done with the login part. Now we will also create an API call from where we can read all the users that we have in our database. And to do this, uh, I will create one more method here. And one thing I would like to change, it is mentioned or noticed by a viewer. So thank you, bro. And the error is here for username, I have given the key as password. So I have to change it to name. So it is good now. Now let's create one more function and I will name it get all users. That's it. Now I will copy the same thing. So we will select ID, email, name, school from users and we will remove the where clause because this time we need all the users. So we have the query and this time we do not need to bind the parameter but we need to bind the result. And this time we do not have only a single result. So this fetch will not work. So we have to wrap it inside a while. So by using while here, it will keep fetching the data while there is no next row to fetch. So it will fetch all the users from the database. And to store the users in an array, I will create one more array named users. Okay. So remember this is users and this is user. Now what I will do, I will push this user inside this users. So we can use the method array dot push. The first parent, the first parameter here is the array where I want to push. And the next parameter is the array that I need to push. So I am pushing user inside users. Now finally I will return users. So this method will give me all the users. And I will call this method here inside index.php. And for this I will create a get call. So I will write app get all users and the second parameter is a function that takes request and response. Finally here I will create a new db operations. I will call the method get all users to get all the users from the database and I will store it in a users variable. Finally, I will create a response data. I will put message, oops, not message, error as false. We don't have any error and users as the users that we fetched from the database. And finally, we will use this response object to write the response in JSON format. That's it. And we can put the header and status as well. Copy this, paste it here and status would be 200 that means ok. So we have another call. Now let's open this URL localhost all users. You can see we are having this response error false and we have an array named users where we have the list of all the users. Right now it is only one because we have only a single user in our database. But when we will register more user, every users will show up here. Okay. 
so that's all for this video friends for the source code you can get the dis you can check the description of this video uh, where i have given the link of the github repository of this project and if you are having any question or feedback just leave your comments below in the comment section and finally if you like this video hit on the like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thank you guys this is bilal khan signing off